Italy's most wanted man has been arrested at a private clinic in Palermo in northwest Sicily after 30 years on the run. The mafia boss now faces multiple life sentences after being convicted of dozens of murders while he was missing. Italy had waited decades for this seminal moment. The arrest of Matteo Messina Denaro, the mafia boss who had been on the run for 30 years. Messina Denaro came for medical attention to this clinic in the Sicilian city of Palermo. He came with a false name, but there were a hundred officers waiting for him. His arrest confirmed by the police, words many thought they would never hear. On the 16th of January, Italian police, in the investigation coordinated by Palermo's attorney, arrested the fugitive Matteo Messina Denaro at a health clinic where he was undergoing some medical treatment. On the streets, a joyful reaction and thanks for the police. Messina Denaro is a feared name with a dreadful reputation. He's been linked to scores of murders, including bombings in Italy and the killing of two people who were supposed to be investigating him. He's already been sentenced in absence to life in prison. He inspires fear. The Italian Prime Minister came to Sicily, acclaiming the arrest as a beautiful day for Italy. It's a day of celebration for us. We can tell our children that the Mafia can be defeated. We haven't won the war, we have not defeated the Mafia yet, but this was a fundamental battle to win and it's a hard blow for organised crime. But how was he caught? Many are praising relentless police work. Others suspect a more cynical reason. What we can see historically is that when people are kind of found, it's because there are different balances that have taken place whereby perhaps they have no longer have political protection, perhaps the level of silence and associates around them kind of is no longer there. So I just, I'm, I'm rather cynical as to why this happens now. Messina Donaro was swept away in a police convoy and taken to a secret location. Italy's most feared criminal may never be free again. Adam Parsons, Sky News.